In Newfoundland and Labrador, the offshore oil and gas is booming. We have three producing fields. They're expanding and we have plenty of exploration happening. As a result of the harsh environment and the equipment that basically comes into our waters, there's plenty of opportunities for local companies to take advantage of R&D initiatives and to be very innovative in providing solutions to those challenges. Located on Canada's east coast, at the edge of the North Atlantic Ocean, Newfoundland and Labrador is at the global frontier in developing harsh environment technology. Cal Dwyer is president of Hyflodraulic, an engineering and technical services firm creating specialized products for the offshore oil and gas sector. Hyflodraulic has developed two constant tension winches that are used in assisting the hawser changeout on supply vessels offshore. A hawser is the first point of contact between the, the oil storage ship to the platform offshore. It would take five or six deckhands about a day to basically get prepared for to do the hawser changeout. Right now we're basically using one man and it takes them literally minutes to be prepared to start the, the process. This is the first project that we, we partner with RDC. They were professional, timely, and they executed the project in an efficient manner. Moya Kell is president of Pangeo Subsea, a Newfoundland and Labrador-based company specializing in the development and application of 3D sub-bottom imaging techniques. Complex seabeds, harsh environment, that's what Pangeo is all about. Our technology mitigates risk for seabed installations by imaging, by identifying the geohazards in the seabed. We're the only technology out there today that actually can image the cable or the pipeline down to five meters in the seabed. Newfoundland and Labrador is a great place to innovate. Uh, we, have, we have the government, which is very proactive, both on a provincial level as well as a federal level. We have world-class centers of excellence here in Newfoundland and Labrador. So we have a, a significant resource of people that we can draw from. <laughs>